He speaks emphatically to Abraham and says, Abraham, I want to give her a child. Abraham, who is full of faith, he's not wavering in his conviction, but he's full of faith to the point that whatever his God says, he believes. Do you not know what can happen in that at an ash when we get to the place that we believe God for whatever he says, even though it don't make sense in the natural, that because we know God said it and that he's a man of his word, Excuse me, 
and let me use my imaginary mind that's so creative at times. Looked at Abraham and took his hand and said, excuse me, let me go past you. <laughs> Pull up <laughs> the curtain, walk right in the tent and said, excuse me. Y'all ain't saying that. Go ahead now. Oh, so you think I can't do it? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, you think I can't bring the past? You think I'm not hard enough to make it happen? Do you, do you really think that I'm just so God that I just speak stuff and don't mean what I, your mama may tell you stuff and she don't mean it, your daddy may tell you stuff and he don't mean it, your friends may tell you stuff and they don't mean it, but with God, I say with God, I say with God, speak a word over your life, it's just like a check.
Excuse me, ma'am. Did you say I can't do it? <laughs> for real, for real. Did you, did you just really laugh as if I have no power? <laughs> did, did, did you just really roll your eyes as if I had the wrong person when I spoke the word? Oh, did you really inwardly just say, hey, God's trip? When I know who you are, uh -huh. and I know what you need, uh -huh. and I created you because I am your creator, I am not confused when I speak a word over you. Yeah. Amen. Uh, and even though the word does not align up with your thinking, you have to remind yourself it's not by your thoughts, because your thoughts are not like God's thoughts. Yeah. And your ways are not like God's ways. Yeah. Amen. No doubt in Sarah's mind. She looked at Abraham and said, you really finished. <laughs> looked at herself and said, I know I'm finished. How are we going to produce a child in our old age? Uh -huh. <laughs> Soldiers are not marching, sir. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> That's right. I said, too loud. <laughs> they, no, they're not. Mm -mm. Ain't nothing going on there. It's dried up. It's dried up. Y'all ain't talking to me. <laughs> Woo. Got dust everywhere. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Go ahead now. <laughs> Amen. You're not going to shine. But God knows how to raise. God knows how to raise. You. Something that's dead. God knows how to speak life. Somebody shout life. Life. I said shout life. Life. He knows how to speak life. So from humanistic thinking, Sarah was right concerning her reaction humanistically. Uh -huh. Go ahead now. But but her own spiritually, self. come on here. Mm -hmm. She was showing a lack of faith. Yes, yes. You're right. Is that a test? What do we do when the humanistic side of us is fighting hard against the spiritual side? Yes. And Go ahead now. You, whoever you feed the most will grow the most. And whoever you talk to the most will be the one oh, yeah. that will stand up in the time of war. Got to nourish it and exercise it. Amen. 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 And when, how many times? Every, Every time. time. Okay? That's, that's what happens. So, praise God. So, the Bible says that God deals with Sarah right where she at. Don't, aren't you glad that your God will deal with you? Amen. Right where, right where Go ahead now. <laughs> He deals with you right where you're at. Uh -huh. Right there. He deals with you. He says, Sam, I heard you laugh. Let me tell you what's so funny. The God who knows everything. Yes, he does. The God who needs no posse. Uh -huh. <laughs> who needs no supporters. Who needs no click yeah. or group? Uh -huh. Walks right to her and said, I heard you laughing. And she turns around and lied and said, I mm. 
Mm. <laughs> Go ahead now. God tells us something, we say contrary to what he said, and then God pulled out a car and we had a helmet. That don't mean. That don't mean. And Lying God, to I yourself. Know you. I ain't going to the fool, I know you. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Go ahead now. I know you. I know the part of you that you don't want your parents to know. Oh, God. I know the part of you that you don't want your best friend. And I know you. I created you. And what caused a shock to you doesn't have to cause a shock to me. Because I know you can lie through your teeth, but I know you. Yeah. Amen. Oh, God. I Amen. You, but I'm so glad to know that I, the daddy and the God that I serve, he knows me. He knows me. That even when I say I'm fine, he knows I'm still not fine. And he deals with me anyway. I'm so glad that Man. God knows me. Sarah! You were laughing. And I got an issue with it. Verse 14. Is it. You, you see right there. Is. I want you to think. We're getting ready to pray. I want you to think of the biggest problem. Amen. Situation. Circumstance. That you have. Get it in your mind. 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 Get it in. The thing that you say, man, there's no way I'm gonna come out of this. Man, there's there's no way anything is going to happen. I want you to focus. On that. Focus on it. And it is that thing that God can still overturn. Yes. Amen. It is that thing that your God can work out on your behalf. It is Amen. that very thing. Truth for life, that's what God spoke in my spirit to tell the house, to remind you that there is nothing that your God can't do. Give it to me. Amen. I'll make it happen. I'll speak to unproductivity and cause it to be productive. Speak to the barrenness and the lifeless part. Now, the part of you that lies dormant, I'll speak to it <laughs> and cause life to so come right in. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? The answer is no. Amen. It's no. And guess what? The very thing that God spoke, that Sarah laughed at, when God walked out of that tent, Lord, have mercy. Mm. Guess what? <laughs> Go ahead now. It ain't hidden yet. It ain't hidden yet. <laughs> now watch this. God spoke a word and she still had to wait for it. Mm -hmm. So 
don't get don't get discouraged because you heard the word but you don't see the manifestation. Maybe you're in your uh, 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 maybe you're in your pregnancy stage. You're walking out your months. Come on in. But the due date is coming. <laughs> you're gonna lay on the table and you're gonna give birth to the very word. And as we spoke, I don't care how old you are, how young you are, God has placed a word over you. Amen. He placed a mandate over you. And every little moment that you have, that moment that God grants to you and I should be moving forward towards the word that has been spoken yes. over your life. Yes. Yes. Okay? And to your feet. Lift your hands to him. Lift your hands. Lift your hands to him. Take the arms. Lift your hands to him.